Welcome back, guys. This is JSN Live. And I really appreciate everybody coming back to support the channel. If you're here for the first time, hit that like button. Also, hit that subscribe and also hit that notification bell. Let's get busy. I really want to talk about the NBA. And the NBA is pretty, um, you would say, I think the the NBA is going down um, lately, uh, particularly what LeBron has done to the league. Now, don't get me wrong, LeBron James is one of the best players that we ever seen. Um, many people say he's probably number two when it comes to that, and and everybody will have their own ideas about, you know, um, his success. I get it, and. They'll say he, we never seen this guy before. People will talk about his life, um, you know, off the court. You know, there's, you don't see any scandals. I think he's a really smart guy when it comes to that because, hey, um, he learned from people's mistakes. I say that's a smart man. But we're talking about the NBA as a whole. And things, ever since Adam Silver took over, I just don't think it's run correctly. I don't think it's run right. and. Who knows if it's just because Adam Silver is a worker for the owners. You know, you have, what, 32 owners, and he's working for them. So, But ever since he took over, I just don't like where the direction is going. And even before the mandates, which was, what, two years ago with, um, with the, uh, I would like to say, Cody, you have this po the political movement. You know, they're so woke. And one thing that um, I know one one uh, what's the name Travis Clay Travis says is um, if you go woke you go broke. But I want to talk about this ban on the league for the I like to say vacation or the juice mandate. And one of the um, I noticed that one of the referees that used to be in the NBA he I didn't see him this year, so it was kind of like out of sight, out of the mind for everybody else, and this wasn't really talked about. But a lifelong NBA ref was banned over league, ban um, I like to say vacations, mandates, talks to Jason Willock on Fearless. And I, I got a chance to check out the interview, and it was just interesting. And it's interesting because, and here's the guy right here, um, it's interesting because they're not really being consistent when it comes to this mandate. It doesn't make sense. And I'll always say, and I heard this from the great Thomas Sowell, intellectuals usually ruin the country because they're so smart. And everybody, um, they hear how people articulate words and get their point across. But a lot of times it's wrong. It's wrong. And intellectuals, especially in, the po in politics, they never get called out. And they continue to keep the job. Now, imagine if someone came out with a, uh, you know, a car. And they, they made it a car. They said it's better. It's more safer. If it's not, and many, many, many millions of people die or thousands of people die, he would lose his job. He might even get prosecuted. Anything else but politics. Politics, you keep your job. You can mess up for 30, 40 years and you continue to keep your job. It doesn't make sense. Now, let me tell you how the NBA is contradicting themselves. Okay, Ken, Ken Marr is one of the longest tenured referees in the NBA history. And the thing about him is he's been there for 36 years. But, you know, he, he was there, think about 36 years. That's the, what, the 80s? So he was there with Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Dr. J, and he's here with these young players like the Balls and, and LeBron James. So you would think he would have tenure. And, you know, he, he ended up getting uh, fired. He ended up getting fired because he didn't want to get the juice. Now, when it, where it's a contradiction is because the NBA didn't mandate people to take the juice. They didn't. Now, New York did which New York is another uh, place that's failing, businesses is failing, and all types of 
corruption in New York. So Kyrie Irving couldn't play because he's playing for Brooklyn. And it just doesn't make sense. They were trying to get people to have a vaccine passport there. However, here's where it gets tricky. If you didn't take the vaccine in another state, you could still play in Brooklyn, but the person who lives there couldn't. Now, make that make sense to you or to me. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. So he gets fired. And it's always like a church versus state. He has faith, and he didn't take it for his religious beliefs, and they still fired him along with 19 other referees. Does that make sense to you? It doesn't. Because, and by far, like I said, I'm not a doctor, but they always want to say, look at the, um, I'm going to go with the CDC. Well, the CDC says all this stuff on the, on their website. This is all political. Joe Biden wanted to get this on his record to make himself look good, and it backfired on him. And it wasn't just him because he's 80 years old, and he don't. I don't think he's really coherent. It's it's the people behind him. It's that sent that House and the Senate. It's Nancy Pelosi with her evil self in her 80s. They're doing this stuff. And they figured that they can get people and force people to take this this uh, juice, and they lie to the public. Uh, Fauci, there's videos on YouTube where Fauci says one thing, and then next day he says something else. We, the point of the matter is, we all didn't know what was going on. It doesn't make sense that uh, the players. Don't need it. Don't need to take it. And it doesn't make sense if they're not playing with the mask on. But when you go to the bench, you have to put the mask on. Isn't it more physical when you're breathing on somebody? You're you're sweating on someone in the game. Wouldn't wouldn't that make sense that you're transferring um, bodily fluids and breathing on each other? It, come on, it doesn't make sense. And we look at the uh, NFL. Nobody nobody wears a mask. Nobody. Even uh, uh, Magic Johnson wasn't wearing a mask. And his immune system is a little bit weaker. So this is the contradiction that um, is ridiculous. And I think a lot of people are going to win these lawsuits because it was unconstitutional to mandate this. And they all knew it, but they try to um, scare people into taking it because they knew they were going to lose their jobs because they know um, most Americans, half of the country, don't have a savings. They know this. So what they did was they tried to go to the the slave owners, like we call the, the, the business owners or the slave owners, and they basically said, make your staff take it. So ask yourself, how much do the government really care about you if they're willing to force you to do something. If you don't do it, you're going to lose your your your, your ability to, to uh, feed your kid. Make it make sense. I'm glad that he's speaking out, and I hope, I, I hope that they win this uh, lawsuit, because it just don't make sense. The NBA is, is not playing this their cards well when it comes to the uh, the juice. Um, they're having a little bit more proper popularity right now because of the All-Star game and, and the they, they throw a good party, like I said. They throw a great party, and the 75 uh, players who got the award of the top 75 players of all times, the All-Star game was really put together pretty well. So I did enjoy that. But back to Adam Silver and, um, and what they're allowing these players to do is ridiculous. They're talking about player empowerment, but you cannot let uh, – people who don't care about the actual business in itself uh, run the asylum. They only care about themselves. So that's my take on it. What do you think about the NBA firing all these uh, essential workers, if you will, because they worked during the pandemic and they, they, before the shot, you didn't care, but now you want to fire them. What do you think about how the NBA is handling 
uh, the the mandates at this point. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you on the next video.